Hi, everyone. Good evening. Good morning, wherever you are. I'm currently based in Baltimore, um, clearly virtually, but I am the Director of Marketing and Recruitment for the Office of Open Studies, which produces uh, our pre-college program at MICA. So pre-college is um, one of the most challenging and rewarding opportunities for young artists and designers, um, rising high school juniors and seniors who are looking to explore their creativity and really just um, be able to explore uh, topics like illustration, animation, fiber, design, um, and so forth in our summer program. Um, we have students from all over the world, and this happened pre-COVID, where students would attend um, pre-college on campus um, and get a taste of what it's like to have a college experience. We have pivoted um, to offering pre-college remotely, and we offered pre-college remotely in summer 2020, and we still had students from all over the world being able to connect um, in a virtual space, which was really great to see. And we're excited to, to see what comes from um, this pre-college experience this summer. So again, um, this is a residency program for rising high school juniors and seniors um, who are looking to experience what it's like to be on campus or to have a college experience, um, but also focus on a college level curriculum. Students that are accepted and, um, and enroll into this program um, do receive college credits. And this summer we have structured the program to be four weeks long, which I'll get into in one second. So um, this slide just shows some of the diverse um, creative elements that can be created from the pre-college experience. We have a few students who um, attended last year remotely who were able to you know, paint in their home studio um, or illustrate or do graphic design as part of their um, learning experience. So this summer, um, like I mentioned, we are running a program for four weeks, which will be between July 2nd and July 31st. Um, we have provided two options for students to choose from. So depending on what your interests are, um, you can see the selection of class options available. And also we have um, an evening option if you're on the East Coast um, from 7 p.m. to 12 a.m. And this was created to accommodate students that might reside on the West Coast of um, the United States or even um, in places like China or Brazil or Africa. So we want to be able to, and we, we have a, a curriculum that is structured to accommodate um, students that live and um, create from wherever they are. So in this remote space, um, we really wanted to mimic the experience that you would have if you were to be in person and in person for you know four weeks at a time with like-minded high school um, creative students. Um, we have jam-packed schedules even in the remote space. Um, obviously students are not going to be on Zoom for the entire time, but as you can see, the sample schedule is what you would expect to um, be a part of. And for example, if you are selecting or interested in animation, but want to meet other students that are interested in illustration or graphic design, you will have the ability to um, pop into community building programs or be part of staff talks or workshops that are centered around learning more about each other, learning more about creative work, or just having fun and, and seeing what other people um, your age are, are up to. Um, we also incorporate wellness activities and um, as part of the art and design experience, um, we do have a uh, virtual um, exhibitions that we produce, which I'll get into, as well as artist talks and virtual museum tours um, that we coordinate with places all over the states and the world as well. So inside the programming, um, so these are elements of what has been created from our pre-college remote students from last summer. Um, you know, there's a Pictionary night, there's game nights, and all of these assets, all of these images that you see were created by students with the help of faculty and our teaching assistants who also support the students throughout the entire program. We also have um, a yearbook club that was started. So um, we, we have a, a full yearbook that was produced um, as a collaborative project with the pre-college students. And again, just other elements that you're able to experience um, as you're part of this program. So one of the culminations of a pre-college experience is a virtual exhibition or an exhibition in general. Um, in person, this would obviously be in studios and ex exhibition spaces on MICA's campus in Baltimore, Maryland. Um, but we do partner with um, online spaces and have virtual exhibitions, which 
turned out to be tremendous um, and really exploring what it's what the students end up creating. Um, I can't show any images or any videos right now, but the bottom left is an animation. So we do have um, digital videos that can be produced in the virtual space as well. Um, capturing community was a theme that the students and teachers um, decided on last year. So all of the work featured exploring community and real world experiences. Um, you know, subject matter included still life, portraiture, residential architecture design, and so forth. And these virtual exhibitions, the links um, were open to um, parents, grandparents, family members, and friends to, to view as well. Um, like I mentioned, part of the curriculum in pre-college, um, aside from creating art, you do get to listen in from other artists from all over the world, as well as be part of virtual museum tours. Um, there's an admissions portfolio review um, with undergraduate admissions and this also describes um, some of the experience um, that the students had last year. And applications are open um, uh, now and they close on April 30th and happy to answer any other questions that you might have. I'll stick around for a little bit. Thank you.